Hello Year 6, welcome to the King's School Science Department. My name is Mr. Lean and I am the Head of Science. The following moving pictures contain the greatest science department in the world. Listen closely and you might learn a thing or two. Mrs. Snowden here. Did you know that some animals produce chemicals similar to antifreeze inside their bodies to survive the freezing cold temperatures? What interesting biology facts can you share with us? Mr. Greer here. Did you know the space station travels at 17,500 miles an hour in orbit around the Earth? Stonicky Biology. Did you know a sneeze can travel 100 miles per hour? Choo! Bless you. Hi, I'm Mr. Winterton and I like doing experiments. Hi there, my name is Mr. Kakis. If this cake was our universe, then this is the bit that we know about, which means that this is what's still left to explore. Hello, I'm Mrs Hunt. Next time you have honey, remember, the bees have flown 55,000 miles to make that pot. That's twice around the world. I'm Mrs Wilcox and I teach science. Did you know that Hussein Bolt can run 12.27 metres in one second? Miss Morris Thomas, 20% of Earth's oxygen comes from the Amazon rainforest. That's why I love photosynthesis. Hi, I'm Mrs. Troy, and did you know that a humpback whale can hold its breath for up to 45 minutes? Miss Evans Physics, did you know that the world's fastest land mammal is a cheetah that travels at 70 miles per hour, whereas a sloth only travels at 0.003 miles per hour? Hi, Mrs. Spencer, did you know there are more stars in the sky than there are grains of sand on all the beaches in all the world? Wow! Hi. I'm Mrs Drabble and I love doing chemical reactions. Mrs Phillips and my favourite bits of biology are DNA and plankton. Hi, I'm Mrs Sessions King and I teach biology. Did you know that there are about one and a half thousand bacteria just on your fingertip? I'm Miss Gibbs and I like deoxyribonucleic acid. Do you know what that is? Fantastic! Now we know the players, time to learn the game. The following contains three challenges which we would like you to attempt yourself. Remember, Make sure you check everything you do with your parents and that it's always safe. Good luck and take care. Just taking a walk outside is really refreshing and good for you. Did you know that there are about 70,000 species just in the UK of plants, animals and fungi? Your task is to try and find out a little bit more about some of the species that we find in the UK and see if you can actually spot them yourselves on your own nature walk. Hi Year 6. One of the activities you can do for us is to make some red cabbage indicator. Then do a practical to find out which substances in your house um, are acid, alkali or neutral. You might need to get an adult to help you do this practical though. So step one is to get some red cabbage and to chop it up. Step two is put it in some boiling water and put it in the water for about five minutes. Step three, whilst you're waiting for the pan to cool down, get out some substances that you want to test and some pots to put them in. Step four, once the red cabbage has cooled down, sieve it into a different container. Step five, pour one of your test substances into one of the containers and then add your red cabbage indicator. Make sure you record the colour change in a table. If your original indicator that's purple goes more a red or pink colour, it tells you've got an acid, whereas if it goes more a blue or green colour, it tells you've got an alkaline. Don't forget to send us your results, either in a video or a PowerPoint or poster, and do keep safe while doing the practical. Good luck! Scientists and filmmakers often have to work hand in hand in order to come up with the latest blockbuster. And did you know that video games have the laws of physics already built into their platforms? So this task then is for all you budding filmmakers out here and the challenge is to represent a moment or to show a moment in scientific history in a short film. Perhaps you're thinking about Sir Isaac Newton and the laws of gravity or maybe you're thinking about somebody who shouted Eureka from his bath. But there are particular constraints for this task because we want you to be super creative. So firstly, it has to be filmed entirely in your bathroom. Secondly, it has to be filmed only using the things from your bathroom. Thirdly, there can be no speaking. Fourthly, it can't be any longer than one minute. And finally, we're thinking about a Disney audience here, it has to be certificate new. 
We really look forward to seeing your submissions. Thank you.